Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Stone Blocks, the beta test pack from Infinite Gaming. Today, um, I wanted to work on some things, stuff and things. I did smelt up a little bit of our iron, uh, and I'm also going to smelt up, uh, I am smelting up a little bit of lead and some copper, because I've got a little bit of a plan. So let's get started with part one of the plan. Uh, I want to make a hopper, that's number one, and we'll go ahead and keep that chest. Three, four, and five. There we go. So there's our hopper. And I'm also going to want an iron stiffened mesh, which should be this guy. I really, really wanted to hold off on smelting any ores, but I think it's going to be worth the sacrifice. Um, I really do. I just made the one, and I went ahead and did that in a heavy. I went ahead and did that in a heavy oak. Uh, let me do this a little bit different. Now, for some reason, Minecraft uh, doesn't like adding smaller quantities to larger ones. Uh, but if I start out with the smallest quantity stack, I don't seem to have any trouble. There we go. And then I can add one more to these guys and get ourselves some compressed dust. Because what I want to try to do is get some redstone, and if we look... Uh, at the uses of this in a heavy sieve. Oh, I can't. Oh. Is it in... Oh, that's a flint stiffen. Okay. I was going to say, I could have sworn... See, is that iron stiffened? Iron stiffened. Redstone. That's what I'm after. And you can see why I generally prefer to do this in the uh, regular sieves, because... Uh, I basically, if you look down there at the bottom of the tooltip, it says I've got a time 7, 5% chance. Uh, basically what that means is one compressed block uh, of any of the blocks that we're dealing with uh, are made of 9 blocks. So if you compare that with, say, uh, a regular piece of dust, let's see here, there's some dust right there. I have done this before. There we go. And if I look at that in a regular sieve through an iron stiffened, you can see I've got a 5% chance uh, for every piece. Uh, so you're usually uh, a little better off taking the extra time and doing it one at a time. Uh, I didn't want to spend a whole lot of resources uh, crafting up a bunch of this stuff. And there was some uh, certus quartz, charged certus quartz as a matter of fact. But I think I saw some redstone. Uh, but in any event, that's what I wanted. I wanted some redstone. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, sift the rest of this dust really quick. And we'll get some decent resources out of this. It's like a piece of sky stone over there. Oh, there's my inventory must be full. So I want to kind of uh, automate some stuff a little bit. That's uh, kind of what I do. I like to automate things. And I think I found, I don't want to call it sneaky, because uh, it's not really sneaky, uh, but uh, one of the things that we're going to definitely want for sure is water. Uh, and if I remember correctly, uh, the way we're going to be able to get water is uh, I generally use leaves in an oak crucible. Now you can put uh, all different manner of things in the crucibles to get water and or dirt. Uh, you can usually get dirt uh, in, the, in the barrels that way. All right, so that was all that stuff. So let's put up uh, the stuff that we got out of here. Glowstone. And I did get a little redstone, which is what I wanted. And we did get some certus quartz. So you know... What do we need for that grindstone? Is that something... I think that's something we might want to take a look at. Let's slight change of plans just real quick. Let's see if we can't get a quartz grindstone, because I think we have the stuff to make it. Uh, so we'll need one of these wooden gears. 
And I think I like that stick recipe the best, so if that'll work, I'd be really happy about that. And it does not. Uh, so let's try that again. Now some of these recipes are going to work, some of them aren't. You know, like that's basically how that's going to work. Uh, like we can't get that wood gear. This one I think we should be able to get. Yeah, there we go. So there's that wood gear. Quartz grindstone. And what we need, any stone, so we need to get three of you guys smelted up. And I did also make us a few more furnaces uh, to kind of speed up the smelting process for now. Uh, it's still going to be a little bit before we can get uh, into uh, crafting a tinker smeltery. Just a little bit. I think while we're waiting, let's go ahead and do something like this. I want to get just a little bit more room uh, over here. We don't need a ton more room, but a little bit would be nice. It's probably dark over here. Do I have any torches? I do. I have a few torches. Uh, so let's just kind of put you in the corner over there. I'm trying to kind of map this out in my head. I think I want to go back just a little bit more. Maybe right in there. And let's go ahead and move this guy to about right thinking right in there. So I want to kind of clear this out a little bit. And let's take our hopper and see if I can move. Yep, there we go. And then let's get our other chest here. And pop you there. And let's get these leaves going in there. Because what this should do is basically start uh, auto inserting those leaves which it is and that's going to get us some water which is going to be really nice and then what I'm hoping 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 uh, let's see if we can't get some barrels we might need to smelt up some more uh, cobblestone so we're going to get that on the standby here um see what kind of barrels we have. A wooden barrel wouldn't be horrible. I think that might work. I need planks. See if I can get maybe a stack of planks here. There we go. And then I'm going to need some slabs. I think this will work with wooden barrels. So I'm not sure. Uh, so we're going to find out real quick. And I only need like three of them. There we go. Uh, so let's see if this stuff is ready. Copper and lead. And I do have some iron left. So I'm going to need a couple of these. So we can put this stuff up for now. And I'm going to want two things. I'm going to want a fluid duct. Let's see what should be one of these guys. And that will give me six, which should be plenty. And that was two copper and one piece of lead. So I think it was well worth uh, doing that. Now the real question is, I need one more iron ingot. And that's I was kind of thinking that might be the case. So, all right, we have a little bit more to spare. Like I said, I'm, I'm, I've been trying really hard not to smelt up more than what we needed. Uh, there you are. Okay, so you can go here, and then we'll have one. And two and three and I don't know if these will work from the bottom so I'm I'm fully reserving the right to change my uh, layout here about how that's set up uh, so we should is that done already nice that was actually pretty quick we should be able to get a servo now 
missing any one piece of glass. So do I have any sand? I've got some compressed sand. Let's get you cooked up. And let's jump back to our quartz grindstone for just a minute. Since we did uh, get the rest of that stone we needed. There we go, quartz grindstone. And we're going to want, I think it's this. I need one more stick. I'm always something short. There we go. So that should be the handle we need. Nice. What I'm going to do is stick you... Where do I want to put you? Maybe right back in here would be good. So let's get our pick out. I did also make a mob room, uh, which I'll kind of show you guys here in a minute. Cool. So now uh, what we can do is we can take this, and it should I, I should also uh, point out uh, this doesn't always exactly double stuff. Uh, you basically have like I want to say like an 88% chance of doubling it, uh, something like that. But we stuck like what 14 of them in there. And it looked like that first one doubled, so, I mean, uh, we're definitely going to be able to double that. That was cool. So here's a little bit of glass. We should be able to get our servo now. So uh, we're already able to double our ores, which is super awesome, for at least most of the time. And I think, I think, I think, I think I'm about to semi-automate our water collection. So I want to make sure the servo is set to redstone basically ignored, uh, which is always active. And yes, that looks like it's going to work just like I wanted it to. So as this fills up basically uh, with leaves, we'll be able to get our water in here. And what I'm kind of hoping... If I put some of this down, and our compressed hammer is about to bite it. I didn't also make a compressed hammer. It got a little bit of it, so I wanted to see if I could make dust in this thing. Is that, or uh, clay, I mean, yes. So clay is totally a thing uh, that we can make, which is super awesome. That's awesome. I like how that works. That, that I think, is going to be super, super nice. Really, really nice for us. So we can put, uh, let's keep things like our drops over here, I guess, from that guy. Uh, Gunpowder can kind of go in our little uh, mob drop. Uh, the crushed black quartz can go over here, I guess. Skystone dust, huh? And it looked like we got some blaze powder, which is cool. Uh, let's see, you can go up there, you can go home for a minute, you can go, you can go. Well, hang on to that clay for just a minute, because I might have some plans for that. So this will kind of be our uh, drop chest from sieving. Uh, up here again uh, is where I'm keeping the uh, things like our chunks. We'll get a few more of them going here. Having a little iron on hand is probably not the worst thing ever. Not super excited about uh, having to hand crank that stuff, but uh, you can come back up here now. Thank you, sir. You can go home. And I, I uh, sheared a ton of leaves. Just, just a whole bunch of leaves. And we may... So that is distributing it evenly, it looks like. So that that's fine. Let's go check out our mob farm, uh, which I built back here. Nothing super fancy. Uh, I've just got a little area here where they can spawn. Uh, you can see with the light overlay, it is totally dark in there. Uh, slabs, half slabs here, uh, don't let light through. And so right around here is where I'll see the bottom of their feet. Now I might, I've been debating whether or not I want to try to expand this to like maybe a two wide. Uh, but then I'm going to run into the issue of not being able to get the drops. 
Uh, but this thing isn't what I would call a high performer. <laughs> uh, it is getting the job done. I am getting some drops, uh, which I'm putting over here. And uh, we have gotten some. Uh, I've even gotten some uh, Endermen uh, spawned in there. And so we've gotten a few Ender Pearls, which is pretty cool. We got any more water in here yet? No? Let's take a look at our quest book and see uh, lava generation. Okay, so we're going to want this crucible, which is why I was super excited about uh, getting the clay. And, you know, I kind of wonder... There we go. We don't want to crank that too much. But I do wonder if I'll get more than... I can't even put that in there. Okay. Well, that was worth a shot. So, I mean, we can just do this, and that'll get us four clay. I was just kind of curious to see that if we could get more clay than that. See, there, now we've got some mobs back there. So let's go and demonstrate how the mobs work out here. And that's actually the most I've seen back here. But see, they can't even see me. So like those skeletons, uh, they are not firing at me. Now this will not spawn spiders. Uh, spiders need more than a one block width to spawn in. Uh, I believe they need a, like a two by two area. But you can see I'm getting all the drops out of here, uh, which is super awesome. And I do have this area chunk claimed and uh, loaded. Now, I don't have to have it loaded, but I did chunk claim it, so just in case some creepers uh, got out of line, uh, we wouldn't have to worry about it too much. Let's see, I think the bone meal can probably go up here, and we can probably... Ooh, I got some rotten flesh. I think that was part of a quest, but I don't know how much... Okay, 64, 16, and 4. So we're almost there on the Ender Pearls. We're getting there. So let's see, are you ready? You are. You're almost ready, and you're almost ready. But we can get some more dust here, that's for sure. And you're almost ready. You can do it. You can do it. And we are going to need to grow some more leaves soon. There we go. Okay, so that should hopefully get us the rest of what we need here. It's what we're going to want if the recipe hasn't been changed. There we go. This should give me an unfired crucible, and of course not. Um, so let's see. <laughs> Unfired crucible. Barrel extension, clay barrel. Unfired porcelain. Unfired crucible. There we go. So we need porcelain clay, which is clay and bone meal. So fortunately, uh, we do have some bone meal, which I just put up here. So let's see if we can't get one of these. So I'll need like seven of those. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I don't want to get too crazy with it. There we go. Like early, early game uh, in these X Nilo or uh, uh, Skyblock, any of these kind of packs, you want to make sure that you're not using more resources than you need because, uh, you know, once they're gone, it can be kind of hard to get some of this stuff back. You know, so I'm always, I always try to be uh, mindful. Does that have any uses? No, they're just bags. Is that all they are? I, I just don't know a whole lot about this uh, Project E stuff. Uh, so I don't really know. So there's our Crucible. And to start off with, uh, this is actually going to be fairly slow. So I've been thinking about it, and I think maybe like right in here... I might try to make more of these guys. I 
I think what I might want to do is move this over one because I don't want to run into my meshes. I want to make sure, I mean, as far as I know, this entire world is nothing but a giant block of stone. Uh, so what I can do is let's put a torch here. This is, I mean, basically with X uh, Nihilo, uh, this is how you're going to have to start off every one as far as I know. Uh, so let's get some cobble going in there. And I want to be able to come back behind here. Let's see how we're doing for iron. Okay, cool. So I should be able to do this kind of the way I wanted. What I want to do is see what we need to do to get a hardened fluiduct. So that is lead and invar, which is nickel and iron. So I don't know that we've gotten any nickel yet. Tin. Oh, we do have nickel. Okay. And can I grind you in a grindstone and get some dust back by any chance? I can. So that's cool. So let's grind up some of this nickel. And I'm going to see, I'm going to try to, we don't actually have a way to make uh, alloys right now. We don't have any kind of a tinker smeltery. Uh, it looks like thermal is in here. Uh, I'm not sure. I never can remember which one of the thermals gives us the induction smelter. That's uh, like thermal expansion, thermal. Uh, there's uh, like three different thermals now. Let's see. If I combine you, will you give me Invar? And no. The short answer to that is no. Uh, now, it might be. Do I need like two nickel and an iron? Let me see here. I might be able to figure this out. Because I don't think it's a one-to-one. -one. Uh, let's see. Invar. Alloying. Two iron. So we'll need to crush up another piece of iron. Uh, let's see here. Oh, I've got it right here. Okay. So let's crush up a piece of this iron. And again, be careful when you're cranking this because you will break this handle. If you, uh, like if you, if I were to keep trying to turn it right now, I could break it easily. Uh, so let's see, let's try it with two. One, two, and one. Mm. Man, I was really, really hoping we could sneak in some Envar there. I wonder, Invar blend, two, okay, I can sneak in it, it just has to be in a crafting grid, a 3x3 three three grid, so there we go, Invar blend. And let's see, one of the other things I wouldn't mind getting, uh, we need to get some more chests. So let's just make up a few more here. Because <coughs> uh, one of the things we need to do is get ourselves another hopper. And we're going to put you right on the back of this guy. And we'll get another chest. And we're going to do basically the same thing that we just did, except we're going to do it with cobblestone. And now what we'll have is semi-automated lava. So that is cool. Now we've got water. And then over here, I'm 
kind of building out another room. I'm going to work on this between episodes. Uh, but I want to have a room where uh, basically all of our dirt is going to be and our farming, uh, the, you know, the tree growing, uh, any, any uh, agriculture is going to be off over in that room over there. Let's go take a quick visit to the mob farm here. These guys uh, do drop loot bags, so I'm kind of hoping I've gotten some food out of one of the loot bags. Did we get another loot bag? No, we did not. No, that's no big deal. Because uh, I, I uh, would like to get some food. Uh, that is a fact. Let's see. I think uh, you can share dust as well. So neat. Uh, charged. Oh, we did get some charged service quartz. Okay. So I think you can go back up here for now. Now the redstone, I'm thinking I might keep over here. I might go ahead and keep that over here with us because I, I do uh, craft with redstone quite a bit. And what else did we need for a hardened? We need uh, invar and lead. So we need another lead ingot. Let's see, do I have enough to get another lead? I do. So this is really neat. I'm really, really digging this. Uh, I think this is the quickest I've ever been able to double ores. I was normally uh, getting the service quartz uh, takes a while, so I always end up uh, doing some kind of RF generation first. Uh, so, I mean, I, I very rarely need a quartz uh, grindstone. So that did double both of our uh, lead ore chunks, which is cool. Let's... There we go. Get a little bit more use out of that hammer. And I did go ahead and also make myself a Tinker's Hatchet, uh, which is uh, pretty cool. So uh, now I'm only basically using one piece of cobblestone at a time. Uh, once we can get our uh, metals to where they're uh, a little more automated. Do you have lava yet? Uh, once we can automate that stuff a little bit more... Uh, then we'll work on uh, getting some upgraded versions of the Tinker tools. It just dawned on me we're probably going to want a bucket. Uh, so I'm going to smelt up a little bit more iron here. At least now I don't have to feel bad about it because uh, the Scorch Grindstone does give us a pretty good chance of doubling our ores. See, I don't think it did at that time. But, I mean, you know, at least I can say I gave it the old college try. Because it does more often than not. There we go. See, it doubled at that time. So let's get you cooking. And now we can get you out of there. And we should be able to get ourselves... A hardened fluid duct. Nice. And we're going to want those uh, nuggets wherever I put them. There we go. And we'll need another servo. I think we'll be okay with a regular servo. Did I somehow... There we go. Or a regular servo. So for that, we need two iron ingots. Hmm. Somehow I forgot uh, how much iron I needed. Go ahead and may as well smelt that up as well, right? Uh, so let's get our iron. We may as well crush the rest of this up and get it smelted. <laughs> uh, we may as well. 
because uh, it suddenly dawns on me we're going to need some place to hold this lava. And my personal favorite uh, for holding lava, we could do it into the stone barrels. Uh, or, or those, uh, we can't do it into the wooden barrels that we made. We could do it in stone barrels. Uh, I think the best thing to do would be to get some kind of a drum. Uh, extra Utilities 2 is a thing in this pack. So it probably wouldn't be a horrible idea uh, to get ourselves some kind of drum. You should be done any minute now. There you go. We can get you cooking up there. There we go. And so now we should be able to get... Did we already get our servo? Or no? No? Okay, so there's our servo. And what else did we need for a hardened... I already made them. Okay. thought I already made them. That's, you know, I was trying to make a uh, hardened servo. Uh, so let's take a look at a drum. Now we could do a stone drum. I'll probably... Ooh, I don't even know if we have enough iron for that. So let's look at a stone drum. That looks easy enough to craft. So we can give this... Let's give this a shot. There's the stone drum. And let's see, our first bucket of lava. I'm actually going to use, like so, we're going to get this torch out of there. Pop you there. And now we're going to be making lava three times as fast instead of one time as fast. And I think if we look at the crucible, if we look at the uses for it, uh, it'll tell us like, uh, what is plutonium gives us a 30 times, ylorium is 20 times, superheating element for mechanism 60 times. Uh, what is this stuff? Awakened draconium at 120x. Uh, so that is pretty crazy. And then all the different torches, uh, fires of 5x. Uh, the Mega Torch probably, uh, that might be our next go-to. Uh, that, that's probably our most likely scenario there. Let's see, we got quite a bit of you done, though. So what we can do with our Stone Drum, is now that we have a hardened fluid duct, we can do something like this. And I think this will work. And I don't even know how much this will hold. We should be able to do something like this. And put you on there. Uh, 16. 16 buckets. So that's not terrible. You know, I've definitely had uh, larger drums, but you know, we have got some stuff done. I, I don't think we actually managed to get anything from the quest book done. Well, we did get that done. Hmm. Okay, so I think what we should do is let's make another one real quick. Will you give me four if I... Oh, you do. Okay, so I don't even need to break you. So let's make another crucible real quick and see if we can't double up this lava action. And I'm not going to worry too much about having done that. Uh, let's see... I'd like to get at least one quest done before we go today. 
So it does want the fired crucible. So let's get you fired. So we've already got over a bucket of lava, so it was definitely worth it. Definitely worth it. I think probably one of the next things we'll work on is going to be a uh, cobblestone generator. So we can pop that cobblestone generator right on top of there, and it'll uh, give us all kinds of lava. Let's see. Can we get the unfired... There we go. So let's get our loot chest. And let's see what we got in the loot chest before we go today. Nether Star Crux. I have no idea what that is. It sounds awesome. Hmm. So I will definitely have to look up Mystical Agraditions. I will definitely have to look up what that is used for. How do you even craft that thing? This does not appear to be craftable, so that may have been a totally awesome pull out of there. So I think the smart thing to do is going to be... Let's get another crucible down. There we go. Maybe get one more hopper. There we go. And now this is where it's going to hurt a little bit because I don't know exactly if this is going to work really well. Let's see. Will you fill that one up too? You are. How nice. How very, very nice. Now, I mean, we can go ahead and pop another fluiduct on there. Do I have enough? Oh, we may have enough to get another servo. Nice! How awesome is that? Alright, uh, so we have just doubled our lava production, uh, which is going to be super awesome. Uh, that means uh, soon we're going to be able uh, to get into some uh, power generation. So I hope you guys enjoyed the episode today. We're still cruising right along, getting stuff done. Uh, we are way over on time, so uh, you guys know what to do. Thanks for stopping by today, and take care.